Greetings, YouTube, and welcome to another edition of Minecraft Adventures with Longbow. Uh, in today's episode, I invite you to my world of Distortia, where I'm going to show you uh, my house and some of the uh, structures I've built around it. Hope it's not too boring. Well, we begin the tour with my bedroom. Not too interesting. Got a bed, got a music box over there. And eventually, I'm gonna have this whole wall, whoa, uh, wallpapered in pink. Wool. Maybe a little white and red just to spice things up. A uh, little story about this music box here. Uh, I was a little pissed when I made it, because it cost me a diamond. And uh, I didn't have any records at the time, so I couldn't play it. I could have built myself a diamond shovel instead of this thing. Anyway, so due to that frustration, I ended up building something out here. This is my library, where I build my own custom music box. And here it is. It's a bunch of different blocks, note blocks. And they all play different notes. And they're all wired together with a red redstone circuit, and uh, when I press this button, they play a song. This is kind of a tribute to the Warner Brothers. So here we go. Oh! Bet you thought that was gonna blow up, didn't you? Now, well, there's my fireplace. All nice and fiery. But uh, beyond this door is the circuitry for my little music box, and it fills this room back here. Basically, it's a bunch of uh, redstone uh, repeaters firing one after the other, just so they delay the signal a little bit. And here's what it looks like from back here. So you can just see them going off one after the other. Charging the music box or er, note blocks uh, one after the other. I got two in a row here because this one's a rather large delay. So that's my note block music box battery. I thought that was kind of fun. Well, next up on the tour... Oh, my functional music box. Uh, let's see. Let's put my little trusty record here. This is a song called Cat. Shortly after finding my first record, I ended up finding a second record, and it's exactly the same song. Go figure. Okay, uh, here we have my crafting area. A bunch of furnaces, crafting table, miscellaneous junk in the chest here. Got my doorway to hell. Uh, got my garbage pit right here. I just toss stuff in there that I don't want. Got my vodka dispenser. This section of the house, we've got the food preparation zone and farm tool zone. We got some farm tool there, farming supplies. I have a cake. The cake is a lie. And uh, got some artwork here. This one uh, I find confusing. It looks like a guy sticking his hand into a bowl full of fire. So I thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> Onward to the outdoors. Here's the front facade of my house, made of obsidian, glass, and gold awnings. I've got my channel slogan there, Sapientia Victim Ignoris, which in Latin means wisdom conquers ignorance. i got my little dock zone over here with a zombie patrolling it. Uh, we got a volcano here. <laughs> Die! And this thing uh, is a bunch of nether racks stacked up 
to the sky with the waterfall surrounding it. Yeah, I thought it looked kind of cool. Here I've got my quad lava pillar, which lands in my lake of fire. It's a rather neat little <coughs> pattern down there. You want to mess around, skeleton? That's right. Take some musket. Okay, up here, we've got some farming. Uh, bordering my place, we've got the cactus patch, which as you can see, spiders really have a hard time with. <laughs> so they're trying to climb up the cactus, and they're getting pricked by it, and it uh, defends my little area here pretty nicely. Uh, on the right side of this elevated zone, I've got a bunch of wheat. And on the left side, we've got sugarcane. I like harvesting my sugar cane with the boomerang mod, because it's... Is that awesome or what? Whee! Just mows it down, brings it back to you. What more could you want? Uh, you can use the boomerang on wheat, but unfortunately it destroys the wheat and only gives you seeds, so it's kind of kind of defeats the purpose. See, next on the tour, we have this fancy thing here made of glass and lava and water. And this is a cobblestone generator. Nifty little device, the water flow over there leads up to this block, and the lava flow also leads to it. And all I do is with my pickaxe equipped, I just mine at that block, and it's continually regenerated. And I get free cobble out of that. Kind of neat. Moving right along, I've got a spider trying to kill me. Ooh. And over here, I have parted the sea. Oh, good lord. Frickin' creepers. And, uh, if you're wondering how I did this, I'll show you a little hint later. But, uh, there's no tricks. It's just walls of water. I can walk right through, and now I'm quite deep underwater, about eight blocks. <clears throat> More water. What was this over here? I built this thing just so I could get to this island over here, for, which has no purpose whatsoever, other than bragging rights that I am better than Yahweh. Now, if you want a hint as to how I did this, I can't show you right now, because I don't have any water buckets. So let's just go get a water bucket, and I will show you. There. Water bucket. So, armed with my bucket technology, I'll pick up a block of water and show you how I build the waterfall. More or less, I'll give you a hint. I can't give away all my secrets now, can I? So, if you've got a waterfall and it lands in a hole, the water doesn't flow. See, there's no spillage, no runoff. Or if it lands next to a hole, there is no flow. Oh, okay, I'm a liar. Kind of made a mess there. If you don't have a hole, it makes a big honking mess like so. But that's basically how this whole deal works. There's just a bunch of strategically placed holes next to where the waterfalls are, or directly below them, and the water falls into that, and not onto the dry area where I'm standing. Quite simple. No miracles needed. Okay, uh, next off... I've got some structures back here. Yeet. 
where the heck? Now this little old structure uh, up in front of me, uh, another creeper. I'm gonna blow this guy away with my trusty musket. Oh yeah, I love this thing. As I was saying, this structure up ahead here is my doggy kennel. I've got about uh, 17, 18 dogs. Notch calls them wolves, but I call them dogs because wolves don't bark. And if you listen carefully, These creatures are barking at me. So, therefore, they are dogs. Now, this lovely constru construct up here is my mob spawner. This thing took me a while to build. It took a lot of resources, a lot of time, but uh, I'm glad to say that it finally works, and basically what this building is designed to do is generate monsters inside it, because it's pitch black inside and monsters like to spawn in the dark, and uh, those monsters get swept by water channels down holes to the floor below. And at that floor, uh, they're swept down to another channel, etc, etc. I'm going to die. Get to the water real fast. Okay. It's one of the problems with having pools of lava lying around. You can accidentally fall in them. Kinda sucks. But I'll show you how the mob spawner works. It's all controlled by this deadly lever here. Which uh, opens up these four pistons that I'm looking directly at. And they function as a seal to the four square opening in the bottom of the tower. And, but once I open this up, flip the switch, you see up equals kill, down equals off, so it's currently in the off position. But once it's flipped, monsters will start pouring out of here. <laughs> oh yes, I love it. Basically, they fall to their doom down below here. Uh, sometimes they miss the hole. And you gotta be careful with these skeletons, they'll kill you. Cause they'll shoot you on the way down. What ends up happening is all the monsters die down there, and I just go down my little chute here and pick up their remains and get rich. Basically, since I made this thing, I haven't needed arrows. I haven't had to build any bones. Forget about it. But it's rather dangerous in that room. I'm, I'm not sure if it's because the monsters attack you on the way down or if they land on you, but you get hurt real bad real fast in that room. So that's why I built the switch. So if I ever do want to come down here, I can just shut the thing off. There you have it, fully functional mob spawner. And totally legit. Well, if you consider using mods legit. I've got a couple weapons here which some people might consider cheating. One is this diamond bow. Instead of sticks, to build this, you use diamonds. And uh, this is the elemental arrow mod, which allows you to make the bow. But with it comes ice arrows, exploding arrows, flaming arrows. And uh, this particular bow is not affected by gravity. So if I shoot my arrow, it goes perfectly straight. Not only that, it will home in on bad guys. And animals, but there's don't seem to be any around. Let's see if we can find one. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. I want to light you on fire with an arrow. Shh. 
Sweet. Piggy, where are you? Okay, there's no pigs. Well, there don't seem to be any pigs around for some reason. Uh, so I guess I'll end this little video with a just a peek at my next project, which is going to be another mob spawner. It's off in the distance there. I built it on top of a mountain, and it goes down deep into the mountain. And unlike this one, which stops at ground level, this one over here is going to go right down to the center of the earth. And at the bottom, instead of just having a gravity-powered uh, mob crusher, or mob grinder, as they call them in the biz, uh, it's going to have a selection. By flicking a switch, I'll be able to open different doors and either crush the mobs, or drown the mobs, or suffocate the mobs, or impale them with spikes. So that should be a lot of fun. There will definitely be a video to show you guys that one. Anywho, uh, I guess that concludes the tour for now. I can show you some more stuff, but this video ended up being half an hour, and I don't think you'd be able to sit through it. So, until next time, adieu. This is Longbow and his monster crushing edifice of doom signing off. Oh, and here's a big uh, wooden sword I built. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, see ya.